what we have here is a sample multi-source reasoning set from one of the official GMAT prep tests over at MBA.com. And we're going to see how to engage with this complex question structure in the most efficient and accurate way. So we need to begin with any multi-source reasoning by reading what the first question is asking us for so that we can gauge what we need to in, we, we need to engage with on the actual tabs so we can be as efficient as possible. So we read on the right hand, assume that Chloe can rent any of the 10 apartments. Okay, so C can rent any of the 10 apartments. So I just write that down so I don't lose sight of it. Based on the information provided for each of the following amenities, select yes if the apartment she should rent based on her preferences as expressed in the preferences tab includes in its rental the use of that amenity. Okay, so we got to go to the preferences and I don't really even care about the prior uh, tab, at least to this point. So we read the preferences for Chloe and it says Chloe Gabriel and Louise want to rent one apartment apiece in the new Metro Apartments building. Wonderful. Chloe wants an apartment on the third floor for the lowest rent available on that floor. So we're going to just put P for preferences and she wants a third floor and lowest rent for that third floor. And then we've got Gabriel and then we've got Louise and I'm not even really going to take uh, information down on Gabriel and Louise at this point. I just recognize that they're present on this preference tab if I got a question that asks about them later. So now we've got to go to the amenities and we see in the diagram a number is inside a circle representing a given amenity if and only if rental of the apartment with that number includes the use of that amenity. And I go, okay, well, this is way too much extra stuff. I got to go back to the discussion because I don't see anything about floors. And that's really all that Chloe's concerned with. So it has to be on the discussion tab at this point. So we're looking at the third floor and the lowest rent of the third floor. So if she gets both of her amenities, we know that she's going to rent based on this tab apartment number 10. So we now know which apartment she's got. So we go to the amenities and we're looking for apartment 10. And we should see that apartment 10, well, it does have an attached outdoor living space, but it doesn't have a parking space and it doesn't have a basement storage closet. And this made it relatively straightforward. And now we can move on to the next question. Hopefully you're enjoying the tips in this video, and if you are, please do like it and consider subscribing so you can get notified when additional videos are released by my guru. Additionally, check out the links down below because they can take you to this page where you can request a free consultation with an expert GMAT tutor such as myself, and they'll also show you where you can access our online self-paced prep course brought to you by my guru and analyst prep. So now we move on to the next and we see that we're being asked about Gabriel. So I'm going to just draw a little line here. I know what my notes were. So we've got G wants an apartment that includes in its rental the use of a parking space. So we've got to have a parking space. And also satisfies his other preferences on the preferences tab. So let's just go straight to the preferences tab. And we've got Gabriel wants an apartment, the rental of which includes use of both and Attached outdoor living space, so we need outdoor and a basement storage closet. So we'll just say basement closet. So now we've got to go to the discussion and make sure that there's nothing there that would be relevant. And we see no, so we need a parking space. And if we're looking at a parking space, basement storage closet, and outdoor living, there's nothing here, and we can move on to the amenities. So we need the basement storage closet. We need a parking space and outdoor living. So we've got to make sure if it fulfills all three of those requirements. Well, apartment three just has the parking space. So that's a no. Apartment six, well, it's got a parking space. It's got an outdoor living space and it's got a storage closet. So that's a yes. And then apartment eight is only living space and parking space. So that's a no. And you can see how quickly these can go if you do the work up front and are efficient. And now we'll move to our last of the three question ta uh, tasks. And so we're going to take notes again, and we'll just draw a little line underneath. And you probably are going to, again, have all of your notes re uh, 
ready for you as you're working through all three of the individual question slides. So we read, based on the information provided, which one of the 10 apartments would best satisfy Louise's preferences as expressed on the preferences tab? So we've got to get L, and we've got this discussion again, which we know is relatively extraneous. We just check for once to see if there's anything about Louise. But then we skip to the end of the preferences tab, and we see Louise wants an apartment on the first floor. So she wants first floor. She wants the rental of which includes the use of at least two of the three amenities. So two plus amenities. And we should note at this point that there's only the three amenities from the work we just did on the prior question regarding Gabriel. So we've got to go to the discussion tab and figure out what the first floor apartments are to start. And we know that they're there. We don't have to hunt and peck. So now we just write it out that it's the first floor are apartments one and two. So we already know that it's not three, four, or five is the correct answer. So then we'll go to the amenities. We've got to look at one and two. So uh, two states that there's a basement storage closet only. So that doesn't satisfy Louise's preference, but one does. And that's our correct answer. And you can see how quickly you can work through what is for many people a relatively difficult thing, a set of multi-source reasoning. 